Okay, we're gonna do a quick tour of the garden in July. Um, you can see that the bleeding hearts are getting bigger than the hostas, which never happened last year. And we'll swing around here. Lots of work equipment. All right, so we've got the hostas starting to shoot up some flowers. And the rhubarb's still there because I have hardly harvested any of it. And look at this, hydrangeas in bloom. And these guys I think are limelight, and these guys are something else. But these ones obviously bloom first, these ones will be next. Um, there's another hydrangea behind there, right there. Um, lilac bush, I never cut it down or trimmed it or anything like I should have, so it's extra tall. Um, we have a creeping vine here that creeps up one and then it creeps over. It doesn't really go up. Um, maybe I can train it, but I haven't even thought about it. So anyway, it's really doing well. I think it's a weed. It grows into my basement. Um, we have our smoke bush tree that's being ravaged by caterpillars and it's starting to look pretty terrible, although we are getting really good internet signal. So caterpillars eat bush, good internet signal. Beautiful bush, bad internet signal. But let's see if I can go closer. That's actually not too bad. Yeah, that's, that side's not too bad. Um, all right, so here's the uh, south garden, I guess. So let's see what we have. We have a bunch of weeds. We have the, um, well, the main show is the big clematis, the big purple clematis that's doing super, super, super amazing. It's like twice the size as last year. It's even trying to get up the roof. I think if I had something that would go higher, it would totally go higher. Amazing, but really hard to clean down. Um, on this side, you can see this is a brand new purple clematis that's only part way up, and the rose goes all the way. There's a few roses left on there, some yellow ones from the bottom plant, some pink ones coming out. I actually trimmed, trimmed a lot off. Um, on the other side, we have the same thing. We have the new trellis and the purple clematis, the brand new one that is from a new plant from this year. And then the rose, which is climbing, which is here, which is pretty, but didn't really climb very high this year. So I guess that's that. We got some zinnias here finally coming out. I planted those from seed. And um, these, the Japanese willows that are you know spreading out here all over the place. It gives me an idea that I can really cut them back because I cut them back super hard and they are still enormous. So I think I'm gonna really, really trim them um, all right, so the peonies are out of bloom. There's the peony, but bee balm is in bloom. I still have a few stalks. That is a, a hydrangea, so that's going to come out. These guys here are Rudbeckia, so it's Black Eyed Susan, and that's going to come out. I think I planted a little too close to my evergreen, uh, but I just didn't think it was gonna get this big. I don't know, it, it was much smaller when I planted it. Um, more peonies. Uh, daisies, daisies are super full out and they look really, really good. Look at that, they're so pretty. Um, okay, here is one of the hydrangeas that I bought that's going to bloom right now. That's exciting. Um, and my lilies, which I put in here and I thought they would bloom before they got eaten up, but we got a red beetle here. Can you see that? Red beetle, he's just chomping away on everything. Yeah. However, maybe we'll still get some blooms out of this. And I guess we got more red beetle action happening here. Red beetle on the lilies. Hmm. I don't like that. I didn't see that coming. Um, I still, I left these 
Uh, yeah, those guys. I left the alliums up, but I took out all of the tulips. They're all cut back. And we have another hydrangea and another bee balm. And here's the last of the peonies that do have a couple. I think they might not actually get to bloom anyway. Um, and this is a goji berry bush that um, Adam gave us. Okay, here is, I'm on the front lawn. This is the side, the uh, front garden. I planted some polka dot uh, plants, polka dot bush, polka dot something. And I put in some coleus here, some coleus. And we have the astilbe that's not doing anything. And we have a couple of hookara, uh, some sedum, which is blooming in the autumn. But they're doing okay. They're doing much better than last year. Uh, all the hostas here. I don't know. I feel like this garden doesn't make any sense. So I don't know. I kind of, every year I want to like break everything up and move it around and then I don't and then I don't plant anything because it's all shade and and anyway one day um, the lilacs are out of bloom and we have the uh, daylilies so daylilies are starting to bloom which is really cute and we have these guys that are huge uh, spirea, so these spirea like drift here, which is really huge. We've got a couple of um, allium back here, just done. Uh, the big, 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 big lilac bush there in the middle, hanging basket, new hanging basket. And here's what the front walkway looks like. It's got a hose going up it because I was watering. That's, that's pretty, that's good. Um, let's see found out that our cedar trees have a bug that's uh, causing it to go brown when it bites off the edges. So I'm going to go in and trim them up, but I think the bug is still there, so that's not super great. Looks like it was already there before it came to us. Um, okay, we have a Rebecca again. These are geraniums up here. I planted some echinacea down here by the well and some potato vine, purple potato vine. And then here we go. This looks kind of nice. It's like nice and balanced. The dahlias are being eaten by grasshoppers, so <clears throat> they look pretty holy. I should know that that happens every year. Okay, so these lilies, which are the same type as over there, are actually doing better. And they're not blooming yet, but next time they will be. And there's no red bugs over here, so that's kind of nice. And then we got up the side, we got our grasses, and I planted some alyssum, kind of between, because it just brought it down a bit, made it more grounded. And I was going to plant foxglove up against this lattice, but I never got around to it. I didn't like any of the foxgloves that I saw, so I just didn't buy them. Alright, so I think that's basically the July garden tour.